You are a phony, Ali Dawa, a phony, bro. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to a another episode of Small to Jannah. Although you guys will be surprised, shocked, and possibly hungry if it's dinner time. Why? Because I have never made a video with Adam Saleh in the title and I don't think I've ever even made a video about him. I think I have made a video but it was on Ali Dawa's channel in which we were just uh, just praising him I guess. Yeah, he had a conversation with Mufti Menk and all that sort of uh, stuff. So why have I made a video now? Yeah, you will find out towards the middle and end of the video. Obviously I gotta put things in context about how and what's gone on in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, in summary Adam Saleh is a YouTuber who started off as a you know Muslim YouTuber as it were, he was making Muslim videos and then he started distancing himself and started doing stuff that was un-Islamic. Naturally his own crowd um, was a bit confused, they were calling him out on it and because he was doing this stuff publicly you know the only people that were calling him out were Ali Dawa and you know a few other brothers yeah but as time went on and he's still searching for himself and he's made some public errors and the latest one was him kissing a girl on camera yeah and people just lost it yeah people were you know messaging his friend Slim there's a lot of people were like messaging me tweeting me commenting on my stuff man and I went off a little bit I had my whole family calling me and stuff and I, I didn't even know what to say like you know what I mean like you know especially you know I just, I just don't think it's a smart decision for you know Adam to be kissing girls out here on TikTok eventually they did some sort of intervention in which Adam Saleh admitted his mistake and publicly apologized I'm glad you guys are here doing this. Well, I'm glad you guys are here doing this. Well, I'm so glad you recorded this shit, putting me on the spot because I'm an idiot for posting that. That's I'm an right. idiot. Well, I'm 100% idiot. But at the same time, <laughs> I, I don't I, I, 200%. 200%. 200%. Okay. Right. I'm going to learn from this. Well, while I'm alive, I'm going to learn from this. I'm, I'm going to grow from this. I will not continue to show my sins. I will not, why am I doing that? So that's brilliant. Yeah. Um, people make mistakes. Everyone's going through a growing process. But I think the issue here with Adam Saleh is the fact that he is a public figure and there are vulnerable people that are watching him and that can be influenced by him. So he just needs to be careful with what he consciously puts online. So I think that that is amazing and I think that needs praise um, because that has been the theme of the mistakes that he's made in the past. But the fact that he's apologized and acknowledged it I think it's a great step in the right direction. But that is not the primary reason that I was compelled, compelled, yeah? You know when somebody uh, grabs you by your armpit hair, you know, compelled, your nasal hair, you know, somebody pulls you. <laughs> Damn! Towards the end of the intervention video that um, Slim did with him, he lays into Ali Dawa, which, um, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing. Bro, Ali Dawa, you need to go back to the first grade. What are you doing? Go back to school. You were bro, uneducated. You know. Lessons from clean your heart, bro. Weirdo, weirdo. <laughs> but then he reiterates a word again and again, calling him a phony. You're a phony, bro. You're a phony. Phony. You are a phony, Ali Dawa, a phony, bro. And I'll say that straight to your face if I ever see you. You're a phony. Phony. Oh, brother, brothers. I'm like, you don't know nothing, bro. And I know Ali Dawa was not going to respond. I mean he's he's used to this sort of stuff but me as a friend, somebody that knows him and I've seen so many expose videos on Dawa and not I haven't seen anybody that is speaking about the reality of what happens in this scene. Yeah and in the last couple of months Alhamdulillah I've had the honor of hosting a lot of people um, that, that that come here and we make videos especially for Muhammad Hijab's channel and the only reason I'm saying this it actually 
I actually didn't want to say this yeah because it's something that I wanted to do for the sake of Allah and you know just 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 support each other but I felt compelled to do this because people now have a warped kind of understanding of the dawah scene and I'm gonna be honest and I I need to expose the dawah scene I've got all sorts of brothers that come here make videos here from all different walks of life and I will say when it comes to the Dawah brothers, most of the conversations that we've had is to do with intention. Yeah, brother, my intention, or you know what, I've stopped uploading, uh, or I've been uploading at obscure times, or you know what, I'm going to go off the scene, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Everyone's going through problems. Yeah, all these Dawah guys are going through problems, but Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam come first. The Dawah comes first. Yeah, You guys come first. And this is not something that gets highlighted, but when it comes to Ali, because I've known him um, for, for quite a while. So when he called Ali phony, I'm sorry, but as a friend, as somebody that knows him, that knows his struggles, and knows the struggles of, of the Dawah scene and what the brothers go through but yet they still mashallah make videos and put themselves out there <laughs> open for criticism I have to speak out yeah I don't think if I stayed quiet I'd be able to sleep yeah it would just be on my conscience yeah so I have to say this yeah so when it comes to Ali yeah I've I've actually walked down the street with the guy, and mashallah, when he, I've I've seen him, when he gets recognized and when he gets praised, he, he gets uncomfortable. Yeah. Now I don't know if he's noticed this, but I've I've noticed these things. Yeah. I'm with him. Yeah. Obviously, mashallah, he's been in the Dao scene longer. Um. So so when he gets recognized, he. <laughs> starts praising me oh i'm with small to jenna oh, i'm with this guy and sometimes they're like who what the, what the hell kind of name is small to, small to jenna he he's got a number in his name <laughs> or he'll just start talking about something else to divert the conversation the amount of times i've had conversations with ali dawa about intention he takes intention way too far to such a degree that his channel has suffered he deliberately not upload yeah or he will deliberately upload at an obscure time you know there's certain peak times for you to upload your videos he'll upload it at a waste man time like like i did with my previous video at like 11 o'clock because i just wanted to get it out there but for as a marketing thing it doesn't make sense for us to do that yeah but he does that in fact i think he takes it too far he works with certain organizations and I have I've I've had conversations with him. Yeah. He gets paid very minimal, if at all. <laughs> Many things the guy will do for free, unrecognized, behind the scenes. And a lot of Dawah people do this. Yeah. Just, you know, ah, we'll do it, Fisa Billah, we'll do it for the sake of Allah. Or they get paid very minimal. And this happens behind the scenes. But it it goes against the principle of Dawa for us to be, yeah, this is what we're going through, this is this, this is that. But because nobody speaks out and is talking about this, and people are getting the impression that Dawa people and Ali Dawa are phony, I'm sorry. I can tell you, hand on heart, if I have met a genuine guy, <laughs> it's this individual. Yeah. In fact, last year I was going through um I, I was going through a problem in which he, even my friends um you know weren't around for me and guess who would come around every other day it was ali yeah and i wasn't in my uh, entertainment kind of phase and he would just sit there and just do his own thing yeah he never kind of made it oh, i'm going to come over because you need help and sometimes when somebody is in a vulnerable position and you tell them I'm coming up and you make it seem like you're doing them a favor, even if they may appreciate your company, they're probably going to say no. Yeah, because then they have to pay you back and all that sort of stuff and you'll hold it against them. And you'll just say, 
yeah bro I need to come over but then afterwards I realized why he would come over because I, I had no my mom was away and th I mean my other friends were I don't know Allah knows best <laughs> a lot of people don't realize and appreciate what reverts go through yeah he's a revert a significant portion of his family are not Muslim his father is not a Muslim sibling not a Muslim yeah he can't pray at home without it being a big thing you know what I'm saying and for him to despite all of that because the thing is I think Abu Bakr said this as well roadside to Islam and I used this thing when we were discussing and he was like Ak, other people want to be celebrity because they want to get women they want to get cars and they want to get money a Muslim celebrity can't be seen fraternizing with women can't be seen to promote a lavish lifestyle and has to do stuff <laughs> for the sake of Allah and get paid less <laughs> otherwise they get um, spoken against so when people say oh brother you know your fame what, fa what, what fame? <laughs> the most things we get asked is brother I had a question about Islam yeah <laughs> That's, you know what I'm saying like people know Alhamdulillah so there's not that much kind of thing about being a Muslim celebrity it's not the same as being a general celebrity you know what I'm saying and I can see why people would say that you know uh, Adam is frustrated with Ali because he's made videos against him but if you actually watch those videos Ali is very respectful he's made it clear that he's followed a protocol so he goes try to reach them in private DMs yeah then try to visit the person uh obviously if they uh, ignore you and carry on you advise them public because the sin is public but you do it gently um, if they still carry on doing it then you got to refute them yeah because people will think that that sort of action is acceptable within the Islamic framework which obviously it's not so I've seen Ali's videos he's been respectful he hasn't raised his voice he hasn't called him names he hasn't called him out um, in fact, the intervention that his own friend did, I was cringing. Yeah, because they were quite aggressive, they were quite blunt. I'm an idiot, I'm well, an idiot. But at the same time, I don't know. 200% idiot. 200 an idiot. Saying stuff that, you know, you don't really say um, when advising somebody. Yeah, it's more question based. You allow the person to speak, you don't constantly berate them. And that's what I felt was happening. And, you know what, I could actually say that Ali has actually advised him better and the other people that have advised him um, in the past. I just thought, um, I just give you guys a another kind of perspective on Ali. I mean, even, I mean, who would upload a video telling people that he's wearing second hand charity clothes? And all you're seeing is, oh, nice jacket, nice jacket. Bro, there you go, I bought it from a charity shop. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, it keeps me warm. Alhamdulillah. And once you're confident within yourself, you don't care. Oh my gosh, Ali, that was wearing chance. I don't care, brother. See what you laugh. You like laugh. Alhamdulillah. When one is happy within itself, he doesn't care about this or this because I am not. This is not Ali. So I do Uber. I work. I was. I can show you my app. I can show you the hours I do. Yeah. I sleep in the back of the car for two, three hours sometimes in the back. Yes. You guys might be thinking. Ali Dawa, the YouTuber, he has, he must have all this money he, because you just, all you see is the apparent. Yeah, you, know, you just see something, you don't see exactly what's going on. My mom gets worried. My mom calls and says, look, are you feeling sleepy? My mom calls me and says, look, if you're feeling sleepy, take a sleepy, take a nap. I mean, anybody that watches his videos sees how genuine he is. So yeah, guys, I just felt I had to put that stuff out there and yeah, just come to the defense of the honor of my friend that he doesn't speak uh, when it comes to these sorts of things and other people don't and sometimes we wait till somebody dies to speak about people uh, maybe I would have done that but um, I felt that this is very important because that video in which he is berated Ali Dawa called phony and fake and all this uh, I think it got like 100,000 views in a day alright guys let's leave it there until next time Assalamualaikum